Okay, today I'd like to show you my iMac G4 modification. You can see at the back of the computer, we've got a power switch. I've got some three USB ports. I've got a PS2 keyboard, AC power in, Ethernet, eSATA connector, and audio out. Now I'm using the Chameleon version 2 RC4 release bootloader and it's just starting up now so while it's starting up I'll just tell you a little bit about how I've made this computer what I've got is I've had to pretty much take out the internals of the original G4 iMac um, I've kept the original power supply running a 12 volt power supply but I got a screen which fitted into the iMac bezel I then put the inverter board of the screen in there and I routed the cabling along with the microphone and power cabling through the swing arm and the power then goes to the um, to the video driver board which is situated in the hemispherical base here. In terms of computing I put in an Intel D945G CFL2 motherboard in here. Um, that's also running a Pico 12 volt to ATX header power supply converter. Um, unfortunately there wasn't enough room to put in a CD-ROM drive. So behind the flap here you can see there's the hard drive light and you can also see there is a USB um, Bluetooth dongle. It's very hard to see on this um, image but underneath there is the control board for the monitor. So for example if you want to change the brightness you can push one of these buttons and the brightness can get increased. I'm just turning off the screen and turning it on again there. Okay, so that's um, booted up into Snow Leopard can show you in about this Mac. You can see it's running Snow Leopard 10.6.3. Um, uh, it's saying it's got a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. It's actually running a, a dual core Atom. Now with the legacy kernel that I have got running in this one, it's coming up as four cores, um, which is nice because I've got hyper-threading enabled. Um, you can also see there's a Bluetooth there and that's got some um, devices connected to it. So in terms of using the computer, um, I'd say it's quite useful, it's quite usable. If you open up a window, it happens fairly fast, that's all pretty good. Um, I've also changed the SM BIOS P list um, uh, file in the Chameleon bootloader to get this um, image up for the Mac, so the network Macs see it as a G4 iMac, which, uh, which is nice. And in terms of using it, well, you can do things like play videos, say we're using Xbox Media Center here. So you can see there the quality is fantastic. It's some um, quite a high quality render that one. It won't actually play on the original Xbox. When I created this computer, I wanted to show off the, the looks of the original iMac. I think it's a fabulous looking. It's not just a computer. I really think it's a piece of art. And I wanted to do a modification that would really showcase the original design. And uh, by keeping it as original as possible on the outside, but changing the inside so that it's got you know, latest componentry in it, um, I think I've done a good job here. It's using the original Macintosh keyboard 
and we've just got some sound um, speakers over there. The um, when I did this mod, I didn't bother getting this onboard sound to work. Um, I find that just too troublesome. The, you can get a USB sound stick, which I've got in in the internals here, um, which is working just fine. The other thing I'd uh, like to show you working is sleep. Sleep took a long time to get going, so. So it's sleeping, click the button again, and it wakes up. It looks pretty easy, but I tell you that was a very hard thing for me to get going. It's my G4 iMac mod.